Hello YouTube fans, this is a TU134 startup procedure. If you can see here, I added the Cessna master battery and alternator. Uh, I told me to do this in order to avoid the electrical glitch that I was having. So let's start it up. It's down the ground. Now we connect that. And now we go to fuel. And I'll connect all the necessary switches ahead of time. Um, as a procedure you can use. Uh, I got this already up and up here. Okay. Alright, so I have that part. Now I'll turn on the uh, APU. Wait for the light. And wait for it to go to 100%. Alright, so the APU is connected. Can do the bleed. So right here and up here. Now that the APU is on, I can connect this directly. Alright. So now I can start one engine. Oh, let me put the levers up. Now so I can turn this on. This is for the steering. I put that on. Alright, engine one is on. Uh, let's go to engine 2. And you can see here as the engine comes up. Now that the engines are running, I can connect the generators. Connect that. This to the left. This to the left. Alright, so now it's connected. I can turn this on. Now that alternator is connected. Okay. So let's see here. Now I have to go to the co pilot seat. So I can see the pressure for the steering. It's up here. Let's do that. Now push and hold for this one. Alright. So we got all that on. So now we can connect this. Like that. All right. All right. So we got all the switches on, and let me just turn these on. So that's for testing. All right. Okay, now that uh, that is on, let's switch that off. 
This is for the air brakes. So you turn that on and turn these two switches on. Alright, so the lights go out. Alright, so now this can be neutral. And we can turn off the APU. Okay, and uh, let's make sure the brakes are working. Okay, just uh, apply and release the brakes at least two times and you'll see the lights light up. So that's complete. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> 